Hi everybody, Levi Clay here, and in this video what I'm going to do is a walkthrough of my home studio and my setup for recording. This is kind of in line with some of the stuff we've been talking about on the Guitar Souls in the last episode, so if you missed that, check that out. I talked through, you know, home recording with Mike and KMAC 2021 on how we go about recording and what our personal setups are and what we hope for the future. And it occurred to me that I haven't actually done a walkthrough of my studio. You guys only ever really see this behind me. You don't really know what's this side of me. So uh, I thought I would give you a run through of that. So we'll cut over to that now. Apologies for the quality of this shot. I'm uh, I'm just using my Canon DSLR with the stock lens on it because I've lent my other lenses to KMAC uh, and my 20, what's this, an 18mm? My 18mm lens isn't really appropriate for this shot. So you've just got the stock lens uh, and it's a little bit out of focus. But yeah, this is my home studio setup, so check it out. This is my desk. Uh, you can see the lighting system behind that. Uh, let's take a look in a little bit closer. So dual monitor setup, can't really function without a dual monitor setup in these days. Speakers, Yamaha HS5s, I believe. I believe that's right. You see some of my library over here. And those drawers are full of you know strings and guitar bits and pieces. So in my rack stuff, well actually we've got the Apollo Twin Universal Audio. This is uh, great for, you know, plugging some mics in and shit. You can see the Scala Octo Pre here. I use this to expand my Apollo and have more channels. So when I need to use multiple XLR inputs, there's a power conditioner. Looking over here, it's my Kemper. All my tones come out of that, I love that. And you'll notice I have space under all of my rack things to hide cables. Some silly Razer gear, obviously, why not? It's the old microphone I used to use. It's still there for Skype lessons. Some bare dynamic headphones. Now, ah, yes, the microphone. The thing that I'm speaking into now. This is a Shure SM7B, excellent microphone. It's what Michael Jackson used for Thriller. Instructional videos, another guitar. And as I pan around, you will see more guitars. Now you're familiar with this view, you've all seen this view before, if you've watched anything on my channel, my Laney amp, there's a Fender Bassman which is kind of my main clean tone, and the Fender and some lots of guitars, you know I'm often changing these up. And there is my Alesis Crimson, is it a Crimson Strike? Extra crash on that, you know on the odd occasion that I need to track some sort of drums, that's a bathroom, because who doesn't need their own bathroom? So yeah, this is where the magic happens. So yeah, that's essentially all we have. It's it's a cool setup, it's nice, and I'm sure, you know, I'm very lucky to have a setup like this, and lots of people would love to have a setup like this, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not particularly fancy. It's not as flamboyant as it could be. I could have a lot more gear. It's a relatively simple setup, and you can achieve things like this. It, you don't need to spend as much money as this, but, you know, uh, this is something that I've built up over a lot of time. And it, it works for me. In terms of soft software, if anyone is interested in those side of things, uh, I am a Studio One user. Studio One is my door of choice. Version 3 I'm on now. Always keep up to date with that. Um, what else am I using? So plugins wise, I use some of the isotope stuff for noise reduction and things like that for editing audio. Uh, really, really big fan of the TuneTrack stuff. Huge fan of TuneTrack stuff, actually. I have a lot of their stuff. Obviously, Superior Drummer 3. The latest Superior Drummer, I'm using that on all my current demos to work on stuff with the band. And, uh, you know, Easy Mix and Easy Keys and things like that, just for getting quick mixes on demos and things like that to make things sound nice. You know, big fan of the uh, Toon Track stuff. I did my video editing in uh, Vegas. And, yeah, I don't really think there's anything, anything else to say. Guitar Pro 7, of course, and Transcribe. Uh, all of which is properly officially licensed software, none of which I've pirated because pirating is bad. If you love the industry that you work in, do your best to support it. So yeah, that's my entire rig. So if anybody has any questions about that, uh, please do drop them in the comments box below. Lastly, a bit of a shout out to patrons over on patreon.com. These guys are, to be fair, some of the reason that I'm able to get nice gear like this. You know, I had lights before I started a Patreon, but since I've started a Patreon, I've got a really nice microphone, which is why things sound really nice in here now. 
I've managed to, you know, uh, rejig my studio and make things look really good behind me, which again is, uh, I think, a, a big part of making things look and sound right, having a good, consistent, professional look. So nice professional look. These guys are to thank for that. So massive thank you to these people. And if you would like to be like those people, you can check me out over on Patreon by clicking this button up here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking this little button down here and you'll find two more of my videos here and here. Don't be shy. Any questions, anything you want to ask me about home recording? I'm not an expert in any way, shape or form, but it's something I totally dabble in. So peace out, much love, and I'll see you for another video soon. Bye.